In the late 1700s, there was a blacksmith named Captain John Ames, who was known for making high quality tools. His sons also became well-known blacksmiths. One of them, Oliver Ames, started a company making shovels for which the Ames Company claims helped build America. In fact, their tools were used in a lot of significant events in American history. So when I found this ax, It was interesting to me to see the blacksmith marking of AM and then what appeared to be an E and I couldn't make out an S but after researching I couldn't find any blacksmith marks that were similar to this except for the Ames Company. It's a wrought iron masting or shipwright's axe or also a New England patter uh, rod axe that could have been used in the early days of this country to build houses, could have also been used to build masts on ships or to help build ships. I'm not sure, but it is a very old axe. The wrought iron grains were visible after cleaning it up and it was really well made with a hardened bit and really good steel. A beautiful and historic axe to add to my collection.
So I feel like it re this really turned out well. I think the head turned out great. It was a really fun restoration to do. It was also really fun to make the, the cherry handle, which I feel like it turned out really well also. It um, was a little easier to work with than hickory. And I think the color looks really great, contrasting against the nice bluing of the, the head. It. Um, it was also interesting to learn a little bit about the Ames family and explore the possibility that this could be an Ames axe head made in the early 1800s or possibly late 1700s, depending on who was the blacksmith. That's assuming it was an Ames axe. So I hope you guys liked this restoration. If you did, hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when my next video comes up. And Look for opportunities to give those old things new life, and I will see you on the next video. Ciao.